There was a sound in this movie that as soon as I heard it, I'm like, wow, he's got to get that. Oh, it's this one. Does he think I'm a fart head? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Does he think I'm a fart head? Happy Friday the 13th. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Idiot's Guide. I'm your resurrected slasher motherfucker, Jerome King. Wow. Uh, I'm Nick. <laughs> and I'm Hess. <laughs> He's Hess Jarvis. He's related to Tommy Jarvis, in case uh, you didn't know. Did, now, does Tommy Jarvis go into Iron Man? No, but his uh, his son is Jarvis from Iron Man. Tommy's. Oh. Right. Yeah. Be hmm. to know that. The hey. more you know. Dun, dun. Uh, but ladies and gentle dudes, today we are talking about Friday the Thirteenth Part Six. And Jason lives. Yeah. <laughs> There's too many fucking. Started to scare me. There's for too a many second. titles in this goddamn series. Uh, I think one. I do. Th- I think this is the best Friday the Thirteenth so far. A hundred percent. Uh, I probably enjoyed this movie the most so far. Uh, but also, I think it had the best title sequence. It's fucking not the 007 splatter Jason lives. It, that gets cut. Blood's falling out of it. It's a pretty good title card. But yeah, that, I, I, so I think everything about this one was better. Just throws you right in. You don't have to, it, it's not, because we've watched five of the same movies. This one's finally different. You yeah. don't got to wait for the kids to show up or the drive. Oh, we're here. Oh, we got to fix up the place. I was actually surprised. It's just, it just gets going. When a ki- uh, bus showed yeah. up and kids got off it, I was like, oh, there actually are kids yeah. in this episode. And this one, you find out Jason doesn't fuck around with kids. Well, I You're, think he was going to kill that blonde girl. No, he doesn't kill kids. He just got distracted. I he was very disappointed. I lost a little bit of respect for him. Oh, fuck. Really? I swear. Hmm. He's not John shit. Wayne Gacy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not. Has to, like, I'm and not, that's I'm why I like kidding. John Wayne Gacy because he fucking kills kids. <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding. There, then why, why put why put him in the movie if you're not if you're not gonna kill him? It is weird that he has a little like, oh, those are my boundaries. I was a kid once, so you know. But like, how what age do you think? Like, do you think would he would have killed Tommy? Because you Tom, honestly, Tommy's older than him. He was gonna kill Tommy. Yeah. So like a few years, he's like, hey, you guys are fucked. I don't. I just thought he was gonna kill her eventually but like it's not like he had to do anything she was praying for fuck's I, sake. I don't think he would have been upset like if he went to kill someone else and killed a kid but i don't i think that's who's standing over here like oh you're a sweet child and i think he kind of sniffed her a little he bit thinks oh he, he, he totally thinks like when tommy's like hey jason get over here and he's like i, I, I want to get i want to get the girl and then he's like I no can't... remember it's me you want to kill her he remembered he's like oh tommy killed me no i think he just heard it's, a loud it's, noise it, no it says it in the wikipedia thing for the plot that Jason, remembering that Tommy killed oh. him, went over there. So He's got a good memory because that looks nothing like the Tommy that I saw a couple <laughs> movies ago. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got some trivia about that. The, the other guy didn't want didn't to return. I will say I did enjoy this movie the most. I don't know what the reason is. I haven't enjoyed many of these movies. Do you think now, doing these, we've watched, I don't know how many, like 12 of these or something. Yeah. Uh, do you have, do you like... Are you more leaning towards you're okay with horror movies now, or do you do you think you're th- you're exactly the same as you were before? Pretty much the same. What about you, Hess? Do you have any more do you, any different feelings on horror movies now? I might like them a little less. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! It went down. <laughs> oh <laughs> fuck! Because he liked them. He was a Halloween boy. Uh, well, we haven't yeah. watched much Halloween. We haven't wa- we haven't wa- we haven't watched much. Yeah, but what we have watched. <laughs> Woo! Friday the thirteenth. <laughs> yeah, I mean it, it, they're they're fine. It's just I mean. I don't know. I mean, they're all just. Is it geez, is it because you want to get you want to get back to Baba Yaga? Yeah, but like I'm I'm serious. Like we're, I was watching this one and I'm like, wow. I'm like, I lost some respect for Jason. He doesn't fucking want to kill kids. That's Pussy. A, does Michael? I don't, oh, Michael Myers will he'll fuck up a kid. He chased those ones in the first movie. So yeah, I guess he will. Oh, and in I, I think he kills kids in the reboots actually too. Yeah. So so Michael doesn't have any. He'll kill whatever. Hmm. Animals, kids. Bears, vegetables. See, that's I a, guess a bear is an animal. Yeah, that's a real. That's a that's a real killer. That's a real G right there. Uh, I have a Nick question. It's a very important Nick question. It might be the most important Nick question we've ever had. Uh, do you I guys, doubt do it. Do you guys have one as well, though? I do have one. Okay. Do you want to go first, or should I go first? 
Mine isn't that important. Okay, you go first then. Uh, you know the part where they locked up Barney Fife with his own key. They put him in jail. They locked him up, and then Tommy and whatever the other bitch's name is, they leave and they get her Camaro and drive away. Yeah. When they get in her Camaro and she slides over and they show the town, mm-hmm. I literally thought they're gonna save the clock tower. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't it look like Back to the Future? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so my next question is, how is Jason walking around doing things in this movie? Because I believe the mayor in the last movie said, Jason Voorhees is dead. His body was cremated. He's nothing but a handful of ash. In A New Beginning, the last movie we watched, he was cremated, and he's just a handful of ash. So how is, how is he a I miss bo- that. How is he a body now that's walking around killing people because he got struck by lightning? Yeah, well, I can't, I you can't. take that up with uh, the director. Hey, hey, director? You're full of shit. Yeah. Yeah. But is it, isn't that weird? Yeah, but I mean, we it watched that last movie. It was horrible. I wouldn't take anything out of it. Well, that one doesn't count? Yeah. I, I mean, mean, Jason wasn't real. In that. Like, he, he he wasn't around in that one, so. Yeah, he was in the I ground. guess they could have cremated somebody else. I guess that's an easy, like, right. Oh, they cremated. Just like how well, someone, someone else fell into his casket here. They could have just burned somebody else. Horshack, for so, fuck's sake. So here, 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 here's my next question. How, how did the two fuckboys in the beginning of the movie have Jason's mask? Where, where, like, where, well, because it, it, it's, it's Tommy. He killed him in, two movies ago. So he's hold, he's held on to it, I guess, for all these years. But did, I, I mean, but like in the, at the end of the last movie, wasn't he like supposedly going to fucking kill the fucking nurse or whatever when they walked in the room? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I kind of compl- I, I completely forgot about that for this movie. That's another fucking so, plot hole. Yeah. And because he, had a, he, like, he I just, I just he assumed we sh- were. He should have won. Uh, what, it was two movies in a row. He turned into Jason and didn't turn into Jason. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Too, I was. He should have. Yeah, fuck you, Jason. And thrown both masks into his casket. Don't you think? Then. It's like he uh, had the original and the blue one. First, so, like if that was me, it would have never happened. Yeah. You went to went to the cemetery. I might have gone to the cemetery and pissed on his like grave or something, but mm. as soon as there's some lightning, getting the fuck <laughs> oh, out of that's there. true. You're like, uh, uh-uh, uh, Nick's yeah. out. <laughs> fuck yeah, and what happened? I mean, <laughs> you see the lightning yeah. and you go, "You big dildo." Yeah, well, I'm not. That, I'm not fucking with that. <laughs> or, oh no, no, I'm a fart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> could 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 the could the acting have been any worse in this movie? Oh yeah, the acting was real bad in a well, lot of parts. That, that's where I was confused. So like. Two two actors in it. So the guy that gets his oh, I heart. I forgot pun- to look up the fucking uh, the guy, word at the end. The guy that gets his heart punched through in the beginning, mm-hmm. um, and it falls into the casket, is Horshack. He was on Welcome Back, Cotter. Oh, uh, I thought you were gonna say Warshack from Watchmen. No. Uh, and then the guy that gets flipped over the head and pulls the gun on him is Tony Goldwyn. Yeah, you told but me about that one. That's his first movie appearance. I read that before. Oh wow, his first thing was this. Yeah, that's interesting. So there are like decent actors in it. Yeah. But but and I did say that this wasn't bad, mm-hmm. and it would probably if we ranked him, which I wanted to. Mm-hmm. And we told. I just want to point out, we told you you could, and you went, "No, you guys don't care." No, I'm not gonna do it. I got the impression that both of you didn't want to, so I was like, it's cool. It's not a big deal. Mm-hmm. But if we had, this would be number one so far, I think. Uh, I think I'd probably have Nightmare on Elm Street above it, just because I love that franchise. But I, I have would, this number two for me. See, I was sure. dis- I don't know if it, I had higher expectations for the first one, but like I was disappointed in the first one. Um, but there was some fucking corny fucking moments in this movie. Yeah. 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 Like... With the fart head and like some of the, there's some of the other stuff they said is just like, who's writing this like shit? The, and then like the girl, uh, I'm gonna ride you for ten minutes to the end of the song or whatever. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, bitch, I'll come when I'm. Ready. Although I did kind of laugh when when the, he pulled the power and he goes, the song was over. Yeah, he's, he's like, <laughs> you came. She's all mad. Uh, so would you guys like to know the story of? Friday the 13th, part 6, Jason Lives. Hey, at least you got it right this time. Uh, yeah, I'll hear the story, I suppose. Okay. I just watched it. Uh, I got know the story. Sometime but. after the events at Pinehurst Halfway House. Oh, is that? Yeah, they, they explain, you know, this is after he's been, uh, he's, been he's been hospitalized and he's in a mental institution. These are my past oh. hands. Oh, okay. Sometime in the past, but forget about that he was going to murder that girl. 
Do you yeah. think he was just going to go, hey, it's a prank, let's go get a, let's go get a burger? Yeah, maybe they put him on meds. Maybe. Uh, Tommy Jarvis is released from the mental institution despite having hallucinations of mass murderer Jason Voorhees, whom he killed years ago. Oh, <laughs> real quick question. I actually have another Nick question. Oh, okay. What's your, what's your other Nick question? I feel like we watched a movie doing either Random Ramblings or this where they pay like homage and they had like a Jason underwater. Did we watch oh. a movie like that? That sounds familiar. You know, like that sounds familiar. We did watch something and there was a guy underwater in a mask or something, wasn't there? Yeah, and he was like at the bottom of the lake or something and I'm like, "What the fuck?" And I feel like I vividly remember you going, "Oh yeah, that's like supposedly Jason's at the bottom of the lake or some shit." Oh, something like that. I have no idea. I don't remember what that was, but you're right. We did have this conversation. What that that reminds me of something. <laughs> That's got a new podcast. No, yeah, no shit. But that has nothing to do with anything you guys have said. The plot of this movie, if you take out Jason, mm-hmm. is first blood. Because he, he goes to a city, the sheriff mm. gets rid of him, but then he comes back. Which came first? Was the was first blood out before this? Yeah, plus it's a book. Oh, so they stole you it. Think, you, think old, you think old Tommy was... Uh, like smelling the old snatch box uh, when he was uh, ducking down in the old car. When he's in the car, he's like, oh, oh yeah. no, don't force like, me down like here. That was weird. No nudity, but they fucking crank it up her pants and get all close. Yeah, I got trivia about little, why there's no nudity for you guys. A, a, little, a, little, a little CT for you. But So Tommy was having uh, nightmares. On my street! Of, my, uh, <laughs> of Jason. He's, he's having nightmares, so he wants to get rid of his body so he couldn't quit having nightmares. Yeah, why does he think that would work? Why? Why does he know all this stuff? I mean, have you have you ever had nightmares about somebody in the room their body? Him. Like, first of all, he was gonna kill Jason. No, he did kill Jason. Okay, successfully. He's, gonna, he's, he's gonna, in the dirt. He's gonna re-kill him with. Any- if and if he didn't go to re- by the way, the, it is done. If he didn't go to re-kill him, this franchise would be done. That's true. Well, and he'd be dead. Well, yeah. But that's the thing. I mean, he's basically fucking shark bait now. But apparently, there's, oh, there's no seven sharks more in lakes. We're gonna watch. We're in shark. <laughs> What is there? Seven more, eight more fucking Jasons or whatever? Uh, no, there's not. I think there's there's four more, that, and then uh, and then a Freddy versus Jason, and then you get to reboots and shit. But well, that's what I mean, including reboots and all that shit. Including, I mean, like, including reboots. Yeah, we do have like six more. He he's literally fish food right now. Like he was propelled to death. Which like, is yeah. stupid too. You know, can I can I spoil something for you guys for the, for the next Friday the Thirteenth, or no. will, will it bug you? It'll bug me. Okay, I won't then. A shotgun blast to the chest doesn't kill him, but a little propeller does. Yeah, I don't. Well, because it didn't. Because then the movie he opens his eyes. They didn't kill him. He's oh, just yeah. he's just alive, stuck well, it down. Broke there. It, just, it just it just took a couple layers off. His I skin, think it. I know? think he passed out because of all the blood loss, and then he's like, <clears throat> "Sorry." What okay, happened? but here here's my question: mm-hmm. What was Tommy's plan in the beginning to put him back to hell? He said he wanted to burn his body. He, he, he wanted to cremate him like they did in the last movie. So instead, he st- stabbed him a hundred times and then got struck by lightning. So yeah. then he kills the whole place. So now his new plan is the only way to get rid of Jason is to fucking put him at the bottom of the lake. Yeah, I don't know where he got that from. He uh, just like thought that shit up, and the he, girl's he, like, he, "Oh, he okay." And what's funny, it doesn't. He's just stuck. You could have put him in any lake. You could have put him in a well. Do, uh, and the same information. Th- wow. Oh, you know that's how you beat Jason. Put him in a well, cement the well. Can yeah. I, do we we get we get Tommy Jarvis in the next one? No, no. I, I think this is the last. He's supposed to have an appearance in one of them coming up, and then they never, and then they didn't get him. Cause see, like they 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 should have had Tommy kill himself at the end of this because he's guilty from fucking like letting Jason no, come back he, to life. But again. he got Jason away, and now he's happy. No more nightmares. Yeah, well, he still got a bunch of other people killed that he wouldn't have killed if he would have just That's left true. him he, alone. You think Tommy? Tommy technically is responsible. He should probably go to jail. All the blood is on Tommy's hands. Yeah, completely. Actually, yeah. Well, there's a there's a All little blood on Jason's hands. A little bit. Yeah, but you can't really hold him in jail. I mean, that, that, that's you the have other to thing. fucking that's fish him other. out. <laughs> I did see there. Like the what were you gonna say? Go ahead. I was gonna say there. Was was, that's like there the, <laughs> you said go ahead, so I was gonna go ahead. You said go ahead too. So <laughs> I was, I was gonna go ahead. Um, I was there real quick. There was a plot point in this that got erased, and then it was they put it in the novel where his dad, Jason's dad, was involved. And he's the one that paid for like Pamela and him to have those plots because people are like, who paid for them to be oh, buried and all that? Right. So there was going to be a plot point, and then at the end of the movie, his dad was going to show up to the lake and like talk to him, kind of. 
Yeah, he was actually in the cemetery last time. He was just on the side of the road. Yeah. So was his mom. But like, I don't think you have to pay for that. Like, if That's I true. You yeah, the, the burial grounds moved. Yeah, I, 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 that never even. I never thought about that either. I did when the guy was like running around the fucking graveyards. That's funny. Yeah, that never even crossed my mind. Uh, what were you gonna say, Hess? Uh, the sheriff uh, thought that Tommy was killing all these people, yet he had no blood on his jacket or hands or anything. Like, yeah, that's true. The actually, ent- the entire movie, he's like, "You're doing it. You, you want everyone to believe Jason's alive," and he's like, "He thinks like he's he doing it, but he also shower. thinks he's a very, very cleanly person." Well, apparently. The sheriff was a fucking idiot, and like when I was like, "Will you just kill him already, Jason?" Jesus Christ! Yeah, then you knew it was gonna happen too. Yeah. Um. So he's going there to confront his fears alongside his friend Alan Hawes. The pair visit Jason's grave during the thunderstorm, hoping to cremate the killer's body and finally end Tommy's nightmares. Which that's another thing. Maybe check the weather report before you go burn a body yeah, and see if it's going to yeah, rain. Probably, that's probably a good idea. Uh, after digging up Jason's corpse, Tommy experiences flashbacks of his last encounter with Jason, and then he fiercely starts impaling his body with a metal fence post. I like how he's just like, you know what? Fuck, I'm going to take this fence. And he's able to just pull it out and start stabbing him. Uh, but he ends up making a lightning rod, and he gets Jason gets struck by lightning, causing him to come back to life as an immortal revenant. Uh, Jason proceeds to kill Hawes. That was pretty cool. He just fucking, douche. That was like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, what's that video game? Mortal Kombat move. Oh. He punches through the guy and he's like, oh, what are these new powers I got? I, I did like how he was ripping shit off people. No, the yeah, that was fun, Which guy. it makes sense actually. Taylor is like, how does he do it? And Jason kills, Jason takes Manhattan or whatever it's called. Uh, and, and he like kicks someone's head off. Oh. It's because he's super strong. She doesn't even get the series. Plus he played soccer as a kid. It's true. Yeah. His favorite words were, ole, 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 ole. Uh, Tommy flees to the sheriff's office to warn the police of Jason's return, only to be arrested and jailed. His warnings of Jason's return goes unheeded by Sheriff Mike Garris, who is aware of Tommy's institutionalization and thinks he is hallucinating Jason's return. He just shows me, he's like, Jason's alive. And he's like, no, no, he's not. Get in the cell. Yeah, that was weird. Instantly. And then later on, he's like, I'm just going to drive you out of town because you're just a troubled little bastard. Yeah, as if he's not gonna just walk back in. He was doing. He's digging up bodies and shit in your town, and warning you guys to come back to life. You think driving him out of the limits is making him gonna? Ah, it's too far now. Actually, I'm not gonna go anywhere. Well, he else. warned him. He's gonna arrest him if he came back. Yeah, but he arrested him before and then let him go. So he doesn't have a good track record. Yeah. Uh, on the on the road, uh, camp counselors Darren Robinson and Elizabeth Mott get lost looking for the Camp Forest Green and are stopped by Jason. That's where you get the well. That's a god darn fact. <laughs> <laughs> whatever she says. I like, too, how uh, when they kill her, the Hero American Express card just starts floating out. I, mm-hmm. they, I guess they did that as, like, a funny little joke, like, don't go anywhere without it. Oh, really? The following morning, Garris's daughter, Megan, and her friend, Sissy Baker, Court Andrews, and Paula Mott arrive to report Darren and Elizabeth missing. I like how she gets there, and she instantly just is like, ooh, Tommy, you make my pussy hard. Yeah, well, that was weird. Yeah. <laughs> just instantly wants to fuck him. Yeah, and, <laughs> like... Even if you just want to go against your dad or whatever, but, like, he's in jail. He's a fucking nutbag. Yeah, he doesn't look like a criminal, I guess, so I guess you could be like, oh. He's who, still crazy. Who's this cute motherfucker Because even if this is all real, he's still crazy. A little bit, yeah. Of course, I mean, she was crazy, too, so. Yeah. Crazy for that dick. Whoa, bro. Tommy warns him about Jason, now considered an urban legend. He became an ur- urban legend in, like, seven years. Yeah, he really did. He instantly, because <laughs> like, how long ago was the last movie? His last movie they were afraid was Jason. Oh, that's true. So like, and this is just a few years after he's in. So like in like two years, they're like, nah, 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 that Jason guy never yeah, happened. We all grew up from two years ago. Yeah, in the woods, Jason happens upon a corporate paintball game. This is interesting because this is a different guy playing Jason here. It also felt out of place. It's very out. Of, it's just like the fucking the girl and then the the slick back dudes in the last movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look, Fonzie and the diner bitch. It reminded me of uh, the movie The Pest. There's a rumor that somebody slept with a Jew. <laughs> Fancy that, huh? Uh, he kills all five members, three via decapitation, four via dismemberment, and crushes the fist face into a tree, and he steals the machete from them. That, 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 that was one of my favorite kills. The, the smiley the face? Yeah, the little smiley yeah. face. Yeah. A lot of those were fun. He ripped the dude's arms off, and he's like, what the fuck? I guess I'll just take this machete and get going. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. Yeah, that was that was even though that was out of place, it was fun. Unlike the last one, which was just like kind of generic, and it was the same scene twice. Yeah. Uh, although, but he did put a flare in the one dude's mouth, and that was kind of cool. 
That's true. Uh, in the process, discovering that he now possesses supernatural strength uh, as a result of his resurrection. At Camp Forest Green, children arrive and the teens do their best to run the camp without Darren and Elizabeth. Meanwhile, Garrus decides to escort Tommy out of the jurisdiction due to the influence he has on Megan. Tommy tries to make a run for Jason's grave, but finds out that the caretaker had covered up his body to deny any responsibility for him being dug up. And that's when he goes, <laughs> does he think I'm a fart head? It sounds like something Such- Damien would say. Yeah, Damien, but because he's thinking I'm a mom. And mom's yeah. like, oh, does he think I'm a fart head? Don't say fuck anymore, Damien. Yeah, quit saying fuck at school. Stop saying fuck. Mm-hmm. Uh, remember when he called you a motherfucker in the store because you kept like pushing him down or something in the car wow. and he was like Nick you're being a motherfucker <laughs> or something like that and we were recording him and we were like what the fuck oh yeah I do remember that um, uh, Tommy is then handcuffed and escorted out of town by Garrus who warns him to never return that night Jason murders the caretaker and nearby couple who witnesses the murder meanwhile Court goes to have sex with a girl named Nicola Parsley I don't know why I said that with an accent, but I did. it just came out that way. Nicola <laughs> Parsley. Uh, but Jason kills them both. Yeah, that's the scene. They're having sex, and he's like, oh, the power's yeah. all weird. And then dry when he's like, I fucking dig this thing, girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that was a weird, but kind of, that was kind of a fun scene. Yeah, he was hauling that ass. Was, he was. That was, my, that was my favorite kill when he basically put her face through the side of the fucking... <laughs> and then when he does that, the, bo- the boyfriend up front's like, you're getting pretty wild back there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what uh, you doing back there, Nietzsche Hale? Uh, the sheriff's men find vict- find the victim's bodies, and Garrus immediately implicates Tommy as the murderer and believes he has gone insane imagining Jason. You think he would think he's insane, like impersonating Jason? Because if he's imagining Jason, doesn't mean people are going to get murdered. No. That's if you imagine cr- Jason, you'd run away. Yeah. Uh, so Tommy contacts Megan and convinces her to help him lure Jason back to Crystal yeah, Lake. Yeah, it took a lot of convincing. Hey, you want to help me? Sure, actually. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna do you b- care if I get naked? Yeah, I, we do, actually. Don't get naked in this movie. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> you thought I meant me? <laughs> don't get naked? Yeah. You can get naked. I don't care. Uh, meanwhile, Jason makes his way to the camp and kills both Sissy and Paula, but refrains from harming children. Nicholas. Uh, meanwhile, Tommy and Megan are pulled over by Garrus. That's when he starts laying down by our cooter. Uh, oh, yeah. Despite Megan's alibi that she was with Tommy all night, he doesn't believe him to be innocent and arrests him. Uh, then goes to the camp to investigate as Tommy and Megan develop a ruse to trick the watching deputy escape. And what a ruse that was. They just started basically like almost fucking in the jail cell. And he's like, hey, hey, stop that. And then they yeah. took the gun and put him in the room. That's why I call him Barney Five. Uh, Jason kills Garrus and the two other deputies. Uh, when they arrive, Jason is about to kill Megan. Oh, wow, this skips a, this is a lot later. Jason's about to kill Megan and Tommy calls out from the yeah. lake, apparently remembering his killer. Jason was like, oh, what? Uh- just because you read it on Wikipedia doesn't mean it's fucking right. Excuse me? You're full of shit. Uh, Jason goes after Tommy instead. Tommy is attacked in the, in the middle of the boat. And then Jason turns into Jaws. Tommy is attacked in a boat in the middle of the lake and ties a boulder around Jason's neck. And I can't talk. A boulder around Nas- J- Jason's neck <laughs> Nason's to, Jack. To, to trap him. Uh, Jesus. Jason fights back, holding Tommy underwater long enough to seemingly drown him. Megan rushes to save him, but is nearly killed by Jason when he grabs her leg. She- now, how deep is that lake? You know, it doesn't seem that deep at all. Uh, he's like, we gotta send him here to the two-foot lake. That's where yeah. he has to go. He's like, if I can just get on my tippy toes, I can breathe. Yeah, and uh, you see Jason walk into it, and he goes completely underwater. Yeah, some more bubbles going, and he has to jump up, and he takes Tommy down. But for her, it's just like either that or she's really tall. And oh, maybe she's it, really long. And legs. they hide it well in the movie. Yeah. Uh, but so she turns the little motor around, starts cutting Jason's neck, and he releases her. She takes Tommy back ashore to do CPR to revive him as all the kids stare in awe. And they all cheered. Yeah. Tommy says wow. that uh, it's finally over and Jason is home. Underwater, Jason is shown to be still alive, albeit anchored to the bottom of the lake, waiting for another opportunity to return. Hmm. And that's wonder, the story. I wonder if that'll ever happen. Never. This is the last one we're ever going to watch. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Well, that's a freaking fact. You guys ready for some trivia? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after becoming a born again Christian, John Shepard, whom starred as Tommy in Friday the 13th, A New Beginning, 1985, did not want to reprise the role, so it went to Tom Matthews instead. So he's a born again Christian. He's like, you know what? I don't want anything to do with any of this violence. Mm. Oh, good for him, I guess. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. <laughs> he's a, you know what the he's studio a born said again. to him? Hmm. 
You big dildo. <laughs> they just hired somebody else. How are we they're placing? Like, yeah, they're like, honestly, we need a more fuckable actor anyways. We need Megan to want to plow this guy's anus. Oh, uh, I thought you thought he was more fuckable. No, no, no. I'm, I was speaking for Megan. Hmm. Who are you? Uh, this film made nineteen million four hundred seventy-two thousand and fifty-seven dollars with a budget of three million, marking this as the first Friday the Thirteenth installment not to gross twenty million dollars, beginning the general decline in the box office returns. Hmm. Which that sounds like a bad statement, but it had a three million dollar budget and made nineteen million dollars. Yeah, that's still pretty decent. Yeah, I mean, although like they're never gonna do that it's now. A, yeah, although yeah, I think they could a, do it now, although in a little bit. Yeah. Um. At 86 minutes, this is the shortest Friday the 13th film, which I think is also part of the reason it's good, because it just flies by, too. It's not that long. Yeah, it might have something to do with it, actually. Uh, and then this one I got for uh, you little babies, you little horn dogs over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, McLaughlin pointed out in the commentary what fans already knew, that this film de- uh, this film is devoid of nudity and features very minimal sex. I just never bought the idea that you have sex and then die. Which is funny because they had sex and then they died. Yeah. So he doesn't believe in it, but he, 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 he just admit you didn't want to have boobs in your movie. In. I mean, hey, that's, that's simple. He, he, he wanted to pull one of the tropes out. I one guess less I, trope in the he, heard our, he heard our complaints and he's like, you know what? I'll take a trope away then. And you guys yeah. are like, well, that's the one trope we like. Touche. Uh, best kill, worst kill. I got Tommy's friend being punched through the chest into a coffin and it just closes as my best kill oh <laughs> wow like, right off the bat jason's boom. that's the first kill yeah no it just surprised me because it was just like a mortal Kombat thing he punches through his chest falls down there did he get and more points because it's the first kill yeah like, well, first blood it, first blood and it was one hit one kill oh yeah fuck uh but my worst kill even though i liked this scene i liked all of it i put the paintball scene because it was just kind of out of nowhere okay but even though i i did that so that's my one time we've done this now worst kill that i actually like um it was fun but it was like you could take that scene out and the movie's fine uh, my my favorite one is uh, when he kills Nicola Taranka, whatever uh, you said. <laughs> whatever I said before, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was like, that's the chick in, in the motorhome. Yeah, when she's just fucking yeah, getting bashed. Smashes her head like through, or like it it caves out the fucking yeah, sidewall. That was or yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, and then I I, I, don't, I don't I don't really have like a like a bad kill yeah the bad uh, bad was hard that's why i did paintball because i was just like eh, that scene could be taken uh, out my worst kill um i wrote down megan but that's not her name megan's the blonde right yeah megan's the girl that survived who's the black chick uh because her know. she was the worst kill because he twisted her head oh and, he, and, it, and well then he was like confused like didn't he take it off and was like oh huh, what's this yeah and he was laying in the car later but like at yeah. first, it looked really bad okay yeah that actually that's like that's a good, good my best kill was the throwing knife I don't even remember which one was the. He killed one of the deputies. He fucking like. Yeah. Uh, he like comes out of the thing. Yeah. And he's whoom, and he got him right <laughs> in the head. I was like, oh, that was actually pretty cool. You want to well, go into theater mode and watch? Yeah, it? yeah. I fucking follow it. Uh, that's funny. Uh, biggest trope. I honestly have nothing for this movie. I put not believing Tommy from the show. Oh, that's a good one. I didn't think of that. Yeah, I. That's good. Do you, do you have one, Hess? I mean, not believing Tommy, and then. Um, like the crazy man, like the old man. That, uh-huh. uh, oh, yeah, they always have the to fart have, head. That th- instead of yeah. you're doomed, he just goes, "What am I, a fart head?" Yeah. Uh, so we're on non-white people count and titty count. Uh, no, no tits. No tits. This movie one non-white person. I got. I got to get the board. There was, was three. There was three. I mi- I only saw the girl. Who was the other? Oh, there was two actually, kids. Wait until I get the board, and then you can explain. Okay. Oh shit! Did you do it on the wrong one? I did it in titties. Well, we just have to remember that. There'll be more titties. This is the only one without titties, so yeah. Yeah, maybe you don't want to film the board now. Uh, well, I accidentally wrote down on the titties, so we have extra, we have three extra titties. Yeah, so Friday the 13th is... Oh, okay, so it's... They're t- 15 and 15 are non-white people and titties. You gave it 17, but you're an idiot, right? Well, if it's 15, I gave it... There should be a 14, then, because I gave it three extra titties. No, no. Oh, you gave it three extra titties. Yeah, oh, so it's 14. No, oh, yeah. Jesus, you fucked this up. So, but it's killing and everything. Yeah. Although this is the sixth one we've watched. Yeah, we've only watched yeah. two of Nightmare on Elm Street and three, three Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. yeah. This is the most. So, it, so it's watched double of Halloween and triple of Nightmare on Elm Street. I don't know if it'll ca- if it'll catch up though. Especially in the titty I think, department. I think it could, I, Especially if you titties well, when they're not even there. Just, I know, that part fucked up. Just wait, because Rob Zombies... 
uh, Michael Myers' mom is a stripper, so she works at a strip club. She only can't once. One, I know, but what I'm saying is there's probably oh. other girls there, so you could get a lot. She doesn't work alone? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Okay. So you could get a lot very quickly in those. Plus, Rob Zombie always has to have nudity in the movie. Are we going to have to pause it and count tits? Probably. Well, at least I'm going to have to. I don't, if, okay. if you don't want to, you Well, you couldn't to. count black people. Wait, explain to me. I didn't. I missed where the There's other... just two kids, two Oh, uh, see, I was trying to look for the kids, and I even said to Taylor in the movie, I was like, "This is the widest group of kids I've ever seen." Because I was trying, I, I, but I just missed those two. Then I mean, I I I was counting when I watched it. I don't know. Is, does this oddly make you feel a little racist when you're like, "Okay, who's not white? Who's not white? Who's not white?" Or do you feel like you're like it's because it's not like we're we're just trying to show that these movies are all white too? Yeah, no, I actually don't. Because I, it is weird. I guess it feels it? weirder, especially if you watch this at the gym or something, and you're like. Where there's titties. That's weirder. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I don't do that, but like if a scene pops up, I'm like, oh, there's a titty part in here. Don't look. Yeah. At least it's not in Westworld and there's dicks flopping around. That's true. Uh, so lastly, I'm leaving this up to you, Nicholas. Jamie Lee Curtis Award. Tony Goldwood. Tony Goldwood. Goldwin. That's what I said. Did you recognize him? Fuck you, Jason. I did not. Do you know who he is? I, I do not. D- did he have a nightmare? On my street. Uh, I'm looking him up right now. So, oh, uh, okay. So he was in the car. He pulled the gun out. Yeah. And then Jason stabbed him and flew him over his head. Yeah. Uh, he's the bad guy in Ghost with Patrick Swayze. Like I think he kills Patrick oh. Swayze in Ghost. Uh, he. Okay. I think he's Spoilers. like the president in Scandal. Oh. Uh, but he's in like a million things. He's in Love Lovecraft Company. Lovecraft Country? Country. Oh, I think I know who he is in that, yeah. A lot of people don't like him because he was such a bad guy in Ghost that that kind of like, people just hated him for no reason. Oh. Uh, it was hard for him to get off of that. Before before we end this up, little girls, you guys excited to watch? Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3. Freddy's just around the corner. They actually don't say the name of it, which surprised me. They say Freddy's just around the corner in the trailer. But the next one's Dream Warriors. Uh, I love this one. So this one is Heather, Heather, uh, Heather Lane Kemp, that's the actress. Yeah. Nancy from the first movie comes back and there's a bunch of kids that are in like a psych ward and like Freddy's harassing them and she kind of helps them get in their dreams and fight back to Freddy. Mm-hmm. And it's about like some of the people at the hospital don't believe her and some do and all stuff. You, but it's, it's think, a fun one. You think uh, they, they kind of uh, stole some of the Matrix from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street? Huh. Well, I guess that you could. I guess I could kind of see that a little bit with like, he's going. In, it's like two different worlds, and he has special power. You know, Freddy is kind of Neo. I have to admit, though, from that part you just played, mm-hmm. not excited. Uh, I gotta say, the trailer. I'm pretty sure they didn't even use Freddy's real voice in it. It was the part where he like pops. Here, let me see if I can just find it real quick. I know that camera might die. So, so listen, he's, he pop. He, there's like a fake house. This girl builds like popsicle sticks to make like it looks like Nancy's house, mm-hmm. and Freddy's hand pops out of it. But tell me if this sounds like Freddy to you. <laughs> that guy talk. They go, Freddy's back again. <laughs> but, but that like, was horrible. And it shows Freddy's face and his hand pops out, but that's not him. Wow. So I don't, I don't know who was speaking there. But uh, did but you, yeah. did you know? Did you see that that little blonde girl in the movie we just watched was named Nancy? Oh, uh, yeah. a nod to. Yeah, I yeah. saw the one that's like, "There's a creepy man. He just keeps coming in here and staring at me, and I don't know what's happening." You know, I got an idea. Run the fuck away. Yeah, let's get out of here. Jesus. But I don't understand that this town's like, hey, let's make an urban legend. Nobody talk about Jason. Why not just cut this area off and no one can ever go there? If you're that, like, freaky about it, you know? Jason can't climb a fence? No. Okay. He can't even swim up. He grabbed the girl's hand and a boat well, cut him. Apparently he like, can because there's a 10. And we're on six. Yeah, 10's in space. I thought he became Muslim. Uh, that, that, that that that's, a, that's a different X. No, Jason X will be your favorite. I can guarantee it. It is the fucking... The space one? Yeah, it is crazy. At one point, he tries to get Muhammad Ali on his side. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then and Martin Luther King talks at the end he of it. He fights Leon Spinks at the end. Yeah. Gus shows up. Pop, 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 pop. But like our... Does to the fucking spiders. Yeah. Pop, 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 spiders pop, and cockroaches. Pop. Get out of here, bitches. And then he has a kid in the place where the Rams and becomes and, a time traveler. Uh, John David Washington shows up at the end. And he goes, I am Jason X. Uh, all right, my camera died. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, subscribe, comment down below if you think Jason was cremated in this movie didn't really happen. 
And we'll see you guys <laughs> next week for Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3, bitches. Dream Ready, just around the...